Friday, 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 Friday. Is anyone else thinking that the days, weeks, months and years fly in? Like, I think once you go past your, like, mid-twenties, early-thirties, the time just starts to fly. Like, whenever I was younger, time used to kind of drag, but now it just, like, oh, week after week after week, it just goes in. Anyway, uh, Friday morning, we are just finished the six o'clock class. It was a great class, busy, things was good. Everyone seemed to be getting on good. They were doing what we were gonna be doing now the day. Starting the day off, we're gonna be doing some dead stop deadlifts. So we done a couple of these last week. This time we're just upping the percentages and coming down the reps. We were doing um, sets of threes last week. Now we're going down to doubles this week. So we're gonna do three sets of two dead stop deadlifts. That's gonna be done the first set at 80%, which is 168 kilos. Then we're moving in then to max sets then. So we're gonna be doing three sets of max deadlifts at 85%. And um, you're gonna leave about one or two reps in the tank. It's not a complete failure each set, um, but you're just going for like a max set, but holding back one or two reps. So it's kind of not really a max set, but it is. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get into the dead stop once here first. That, time. that day, yeah. for whatever reason, I was so wrecked, and the guys finished, and I feel like it went, girl. I'm listening to a podcast here in the background um, with Alexis Raptus. And everyone's just drunk, trying to order hamburgers. It's like anger in the moment, like in the middle of the workout. I'm just like, oh. And then after, it's just like, oh, God, I need to go cry. She's my favorite CrossFit Games athlete in the female side. I've watched a couple of days of life on hers on uh, YouTube, listened to a couple of podcasts, and she just is so genuine. Like she just seems so friendly, so nice, just just a really nice person. That was a good day. I really do hope she does extremely well next season now, coming coming into the games and all. I'd love to see her get on the podium. I just think that I know I just really like her, I just think she's just a normal hard worker. She's definitely my favourite female crossfitter. Who's yours? Comment down below. Favourite female crossfitter. Or you know, like your plan goes out the window, everything just isn't working. Then it's like, okay, everything's extra hard. So if you're unfamiliar with Alexis Raptus, she has been to the CrossFit Games as an individual two times. Her second appearance there, just the previous games past, she came sixth. So she is the current sixth fattest woman in the world. For some reason, sixth sounded so much worse than like fifth, but what's gonna change if I took fifth? Nothing. I'm still gonna have all the people in my life that love me. I'm still gonna have Adam. I'm still gonna be here with you guys. Nothing's gonna change. And I was like, even if I won the games, like that's obviously the dream. I mean, things like sponsorships and that kind of stuff can change, but your life doesn't change. Who you are doesn't change. And I was just like, I love my life right now. And I'm so happy. I'm gonna push and like continue to push the boundaries and like try and accomplish that goal. But I'm also just so happy with life that I'm not gonna let that just like make me bitter and annoyed and mad all the time. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Ugh. She trains in training think tank and you know she's around with great athletes and even Travis Mayer, Noah Olson. So iron sharpens iron and I think that um, Alexis is gonna be 100% someone to watch in the future. Right, so that was the three sets of dead stop deadlifts done. Now um, we're going into three sets for max deadlifts. This time we're going to bump it up to 85%, which is going to be 180 kilos, and we're going to do three max sets, holding back a bit. So maybe one to two reps away from failure each set. That's the plan, but you know, whenever you get on it, then you do try and hang on for bigger max sets. We'll see. See, we'll just see. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that, but I just threw the ball and it hit the barbell from back there. Like, if you actually tried to hit the barbell with the ball, I don't think you could do it. We'll just try it for the try. See? Come on, we're going right now, and you did it with us. And I just got so emotional. I was crying. I was just laughing. I was just like, I was hyperventilating. I was crying. I know that you can't quit. You were crying in the workout. Right, so I got five for that set, and it says to leave one to two reps in the tank. Maybe I could have squeezed out another one or two there, so I'd say if I stick to sets of five. 
That'll be good enough. Yeah. Right, that's one done, two more to go. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Like, that was meant. Mm -hmm. Like, because you got caught in four minutes and you weren't done. And then, do you remember where you were talking about? I feel like it was two minutes. <sighs> I don't know, like, my ability to hold it and hold it and hold it. Like, that is the second set done and we just have one more left to do, um, one more left in the deadlift. After this we'll be going into some strict press and then we have another bit of a conditioning workout to do and we like double under sit ups and bike but this has been a good week's training so far. Um, obviously in that last video I PB'd my clean. Hundred and twenty five kilos. Absolutely delighted with that. Then that night then I had to come back in for the snatch in one hundred, week six, day one, and I ended up hitting ninety-five kilo on the snatch for two singles. <sighs> right, there's one. Or a double. Um so that was that was big news for me there, getting close now, halfway through the cycle, at ninety-five for two. And the target's 100, so we've got six more weeks to go on that. So this has been a good week. My Yesterday I was uh, back or front squatting. I was meant to be a rest day yesterday, right? But I just, as I say, I'm on a squat program as well for six weeks. And I'm on like week four. That was week four, day two yesterday. And what we had to do was three by threes. And that was at 128 kilo. Now that was a three rep max for me. I don't think I ever did 128 for three before in my life. So I did the three by three at that and I was delighted. Got them done early, it only took me about 20 minutes to do them maybe. In and out in 20 minutes, so I had the full day then to recover then the rest of the day. So um, ah, it's been a good week. Um, we'll finish off this set and then we'll get into strict pressing. Today isn't too bad, you know, so we get today done dusted. And it was really the first time where I was like, holy shit, this is not just like a contender, but you can really, um, I'm talking about that, but I think she was already just hoping that the game could be like, oh, like, she Right, so for the strict press, I'm just warmed up now. We have 56 kilo on the bar. We're going to be doing seven sets in total. The first six sets are going to be three reps. That's going to be done at 75%. And then we're going to do the seven sets. It's going to be a max attempt then, so as many reps as possible um, for the last seven set. If you remember last week then we did this here, only we did it with um, sets of five reps, and the percentages was at 70%. Now this week, again, progressive overload. We're just going up 5%, but the reps are coming down. So we'll get into the first set here now. Oh, last night I had this... Oh, this beautiful enchilada. Now, there's a butcher's up in Derry called Paul's Butchers. They sell these wee enchiladas, they come in ice tray, put them in the oven, no mess, no dishes, no nothing. Heat and eat. Lovely. Tasty. Right, one set done, we get into the second. Right, so we have one more set of three to do out of the designated six that we have to and then we're going to then do one max set now after this. So one more set of three and then we're going to do max reps at 56 kilo. So that's all the sets done of threes. Now I'm just going to take a wee breather for a minute or two. Get a wee drink of water and then we'll go into the next set. It's max reps. See for this set now, last week I was doing this obviously at 70%. And um, we were going for a max set, and I ended up getting 12 reps. I think the weight was like 53 kilo or something. I can't remember exactly weight on it. So I got 12 reps. So if I can get like maybe 10 this time, that would be. I think that would be good enough. 
12 last week at 70%. If I can get 10 this week at 75, that should be good enough. Taking another wee minute or two here. I'm relaxed. I'm ran out of coffee. I have all my coffee drunk. I'd love to go to the shop and get one, but I know if I just stick at my train now, I'll get it all done. I'll get one the way home. But you don't miss the water to the well runs dry, don't you? Right, let's get in this set. I think maybe I could have got 11, but I just got as far as 10 and I just held it here for a wee bit too long. And once you held it then, there was no going back from that. <laughs> right, that's the both strength pieces done. Deadlift and uh, strict pressing. Both of those done. And now we're going to get into kind of a long workout, a couple of AMRAPs. I'll run through what it is. I explain it and then we'll get stuck in it. The workout for the day is going to be AMRAP 3 minutes, 20 double unders, 10 sit ups, max cal bike erg. AMRAP 4 minutes, 40 double unders, 20 sit ups, max cal bike erg. AMRAP 5 minutes, 60 double unders, 30 sit ups, max cal bike erg. AMRAP 6, 80 double unders, 40 sit ups. And the last one, a 7 minute AMRAP, 100 double unders. 50 setups, max cal bike erg. This is all running on a continuous clock. So it starts from zero to three and then it runs right through for 25 minutes in total. So that's the workout. Don't need too much of a warm up for this because it's gonna be just all bodyweight stuff and always just skipping on the mat setups and that first wee AMRAP will, uh, will heat me up rightly. And that'll do. So you just buy in with the skipping and the uh, mat setups each time and then your score is gonna be calories on the bikes then after that. I'm doing this in the bike air. We didn't have enough bike airs in the class this morning, so people did it in the Echo bikes, people did it in the rower. If you didn't have a bike air, you can just pick any other machine and uh, jump on that. So that's it, and we'll get stuck into it. Last piece of the day. That was a grand wee workout there. Do you know that wee workout there? If you're looking for like a workout to do sort of like an active recovery day, I think that would be just perfect there. Nothing too strenuous really. The double unders. I had one trip in the first round of 20 um, and I had one trip on the 8th at the set of 100 and then I just went unbroken for the last 92. Unbroken for the set 80, unbroken for 60, unbroken for 40. Just two wee trips. One at the start where I kind of wasn't warmed up into it and then one at the end. Unbroken the ab mat setups. And then on the bike here again, I didn't push it too hard. I just kind of slow to moderate on the bike as I say I was just using it as a bit of a recovery and that workout came just at the right time because <clears throat> it was a fairly heavy week a really good week um, PB my front squat yesterday was safe for three three sets of three 128 PB McLean hit the snatch double for 95 so we're looking good hey we're looking good one more training day tomorrow um, to go and then we'll be back in on Sunday then for the snatching week 62. I think we've got some overhead squats to build up then. That a heavy double, I think, as far as I remember. So that's basically it, folks. I hope you have a good Friday and uh, we'll see you Saturday. The next one. Good luck.